Whenever I'm asked, uh, you know, what, what's it all about? What's this life all about? You know, it seems to be beset with so much challenges and struggles for, for many people. Why are we here? What are we here for? And it comes to me to say, that to taste the world, to taste diversity, to have experiencing through the senses and the mind, to be creative and imaginative, to try everything that Maya can give you. Maya mean is the great illusion to try all the things, and then at some point mm, to even appreciate the wonderfulness of uh, the creative expressions of God. But in the end, to find only God is enough. Uh, we try everything, and nothing lasts. It's all temporary. It's all a temporary manifestation, and. It is not an accident. It is also for our experiencing. But amongst us, I would say the wise ones, having tasted, my mother once said to me in a letter, I have had enough, I am tired of experiencing. She said, because looking back, I see for much of my life I have been picking up burdens, and it is enough. And uh, it seems the mind gives us a lot of opportunities. Taste this, taste that, come here. You try many things, and in the end, uh, if you are blessed, I would say, you come to see, uh, I have had enough of transient experiences. And we turn inward to find the one who can never leave you. So, what is it all about? To taste all this, through the senses and the mind, and then to transcend them, to say, No, only God is enough. And what is God? Is God uh, some entity sitting somewhere up there looking at you? No, God is in every, 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 every molecule, every particle, in the visible and the indivisible. The presence of the Supreme is here. It's inside each form, inside the, the heart, in the mind, everything is here. But once we desire a thing, our attention goes to that thing, and energy goes to that. And for a while, we cannot help it. We are compelled to into experiencing. At one time, you come to see, uh, I have lived with so many people, with so many things. Now I must find the one I cannot live without. This one within your own heart. He is already calling you from within. and. It is not far. How far can you be away from the Infinite One? You are within the Infinite, appearing to be only finite. And just sit by yourself, and pick up no thought, or any intention, or anything from time, past, present or future. Simply be empty. And uh, present, and He will present Himself in you as pure presence. You see, yeah. Start here, and uh, stay with it, because sometimes mind will come and says, "Ha ha! See what's happening? It's nothing. It's nothing, and so on." And for a while, we have been quick to listen to this voice, because in the world you will hear this voice multiplied thousands of times. Telling you go this way, do this thing, or oh, this is not good. Look at these people, and so on. You hear that voice, but you must find a voice hmm, that sometimes doesn't use words. Also, it just happens inside your heart—a deep silence and peace. And be one. Say thank you, thank you, thank you. Absorb me. You will never. Uh, Make a better move. It's even a non move. The move is only the attitude to say, I welcome you. I welcome you. Yes. Merge me with you. O Supreme Self. O Source of Happiness. 
source of life, O oh, uncreated one, absorb me in you. Isn't it good? Thank you. Because mind is not going to tell you, listen, you're right here. Why are you trying so hard? Why are you trying so hard? It is no, it's not, it's not his vice. But he can even say, because he's cunning, he can say, Oh, but you're already this. Look, you're already, why are you trying so hard? You're already, you're already finished, you're already complete. Look how wonderful, there's nothing to do. So you must design. But how to know if your discernment is right? You will cultivate uh, that uh, maturity will come. You only have to have the good intention and to be open, and don't go around reading many books and what searching for teachers. You don't have to do that. You, while you're searching for teachers, you miss the one who is timelessly here. Find the one who is timelessly here, and if he wants to take you to a teacher whose voice you can hear. He will do that. Start with him. Don't end with him. Start with him and put an end to your trouble.